Now that Janelle Brown is no longer with Cody, where does she live? Given everything that has occurred over the past two years, Sister Wives fans may be surprised by Janelle Brown's living situation. After spending over two decades together, Janelle Brown broke up with Cody in 2022, as we found out. Nearly all of Cody's first wives have since left him. Christine and Mary have moved away from the family's Coyote Pass Ranch. However, precisely where does Janelle reside? Fans saw Janelle discuss leaving Flagstaff, Arizona for the first time as Sister Wise returned for its 19th season. She accompanied her daughter Maddie to view a piece of land in Montana that they might both develop on in their second episode back. But late in 2022, the episode was filmed. Janelle clarified at the time that she was prepared to take Cody to court in order to obtain the funds required for her move. Hey guys, this is Nelia here. Welcome to TLC Flicks. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. As of July 2024, as far as we can ascertain, she remains a resident of Arizona. Janelle posted on Instagram shortly before Christmas 2023, expressing her continued love for the place. She started the social media post with, One of the reasons I like living in Flagstaff is that three of my six kids are here. A picture of one of her boys, Pitiful Garrison, lounging in her living room with the family dog with the caption next to it. Savannah is still at home with me, and I can get visits from Gabe or Garrison at random," Janelle added. Carolyn decided it was time to lay all over Garrison like she does us when he stopped. Regretfully, these would be among the final pictures she shared of her son on Instagram. Tragically, Garrison committed suicide in February 2024, just a few months later. Even after all of that, Janelle is still in Arizona, but it doesn't seem like she will be there for long. The aforementioned episode was shot over two years ago, as we previously stated. Since then, a great deal has happened, and the family still has a great deal to happen. However, the blast has learned that Janelle never followed through on her plan to move to Montana with Maddie. The reality star, however, spent $289,000 on a house in Chalcoanity, North Carolina. It is said that the 156-acre farm was purchased on March 28, 2024, not long after Garrison passed away. Before his untimely death, Janelle was probably already in the process of doing this. Given that Maddie Brown, who lives in Greenville, is less than a 30-minute drive away from Janelle's new residence, it makes sense for her to invest in land here. In July 2021, Maddie and her spouse, Caleb Brush, together with their three kids, relocated to Greenville, NC, forming a close-knit family circle. However, Janelle still spends a significant amount of time in Arizona, as you can see if you follow her on Instagram, so the transfer might not be finalized. And there's the RV, of course. In June 2023, The Sun revealed that Janelle and Cody had spent $340,000 for the purchase of two Coyote Pass properties. Janelle is one of the wives that still owns a portion of the land even after their divorce. Her inability to establish a real home of her own to live in is the issue. Janelle has been living in an RV for a portion of the year, among other reasons, compared to the previous women who have broken up with Cody, this is different. Mary notably owns a guest house and breakfast in Utah and rents out her residence in Flagstaff. The majority of her time is spent there. Christine, on the other hand, sold her Flagstaff house and now resides in a new home in Utah. The couple spent much of their time establishing their new life together after being married again. Janelle had been renting a property in Flagstaff for a time, but the landlord decided to sell. That's the point at which uncertainty sets in. Janelle stated in October 2023 that she had put the trailer in winter storage, suggesting she wouldn't be residing in it during the approaching winter months. She later told fans that she didn't spend as much time in the trailer as she had anticipated, which made her feel that the time spent in it was a failure. Janelle said, My initial thought is that this has been a failure, but she soon learned to accept herself. The Sister Wise actress said, I just really, really overestimated how much free time I was going to have and be able to come. She's not beating herself up over the choice, though. When we try things and they don't work, we constantly want to punish ourselves, she explains. Well, we think, oh, I should have been smarter, but it's all hindsight, right? She continued by saying that the trailer will be back out in full force as soon as the weather warmed up again. Speaking about her daughter, Madison Brown Brush, her husband Caleb Brush and their three children, A.V. Axel and Josephine Lee, she said, Maddie and Caleb and I and the babies will be using it more in the future. Janelle traveled a lot after Garrison passed away. She traveled to Hawaii and New York, even taking a few of her children to Disney. It makes sense that Janelle was grieving on her own terms, which probably included temporarily postponing her living arrangements. However, it might all be about to change. Janelle is excited to begin a new chapter in her life with her daughter after relocating to North Carolina. 
She and Maddie unveiled a new business endeavor, Tata Farms, in September 2024. Being a farm owner has always been a dream for all of us, the recently created website stated in its mission statement. We all had this ideal, along with our thoughts of living in the peace and serenity of the countryside and surrounded by natural beauty. But Destiny had other ideas. The thought of turning this desire into a reality came about as changes in our family dynamics transpired. Despite the lack of information, it seems like the main feature of the space will be flowers, so it sounds like it might become a pick-your-own-flower location. In particular, Mom, Janelle, dreamed of retiring to a peaceful area in nature with blooming flowers. Her enthusiasm for creating community and beauty from the ground up struck a deep chord with all of us. The thought of producing something so exquisite and lovely inspired us to set off on this adventure. Tata Farms was therefore established, and everyone involved was dedicated to making our common goal a reality. Recap of Sister Wife Season 1 Cody deals with fallout during dramatic divorce on September 22, 2024, the most recent episode of Sister Wives aired on TLC. As Cody Brown faced with the fallout from his broken marriages, tensions increased. Having previously been polygamous, Cody now has just one wife, Robin, following the divorce of his former three wives, Janelle, Christine, and Mary. Janelle is thinking about moving permanently to Montana, where her daughter Maddie resides, in an effort to distance herself even more from Cody. Janelle has been requesting information about the family's financial situation, particularly with reference to the sizable Coyote Pass property that they all jointly purchased. Cody refuses to provide information despite her demands, blaming his ex-wives for his tense relationships with his kids, especially Maddie, who shares her mother's desire for openness. Mary, the initial spouse of Cody, is pursuing a formal religious release, signifying the ultimate separation from her union. Mary is working on releasing herself from Cody's emotional hold, even after their formal divorce, all while keeping open the prospect of being married again in the future. Janelle and Christine, who both noisily ended their marriages without pursuing a spiritual divorce, don't regret their choices. A welcome home celebration is planned by Christine and her daughter Aspen for Cody's daughter Seppel, who had scoliosis surgery, a procedure that Cody conspicuously failed to support. The pandemic revealed Cody's partiality for Robin, which finally drove the other spouses away. The previously cohesive family is now deeply divided, which is made worse by Robin's kids feeling cut off from their step-siblings. Cody's ex-wives are moving on from a man who, in spite of his several marriages, has never been able to sustain any real relationships. They continue to fight for what they are entitled to, both financially and emotionally, with communication breakdowns and money conflicts at the core of their issues. Would Sister Wives star Janelle Brown consider polygamous marriage once more? You may think that some of the ladies who are married to Cody Brown wouldn't be interested in polyamorous relationships in the future after watching episodes of Sister Wives. But in Janelle Brown's instance, that isn't quite the case. According to the most recent information, she was Cody's second wife and isn't completely opposed to the concept of becoming married to other people again. She said the following, An intriguing detail about Janelle was uncovered in a Sister Wives episode that monsters and critics featured. As it happens, Janelle appears to be headed toward yet another polygamist marriage. She expressed her gratitude for the community that polygamy had provided for her. Janelle also talked about how her polygamous marriage gave her a sense of independence. I would actually do plural marriage again for the independence, she declared categorically. She is describing independence because, as Cody's wife, she was free from having to provide for him every day of the week. Every week on the third day, she was with him. She spent the remainder of the week by herself as Cody took turns with his other wives. When polygamy is functioning correctly, you have this amazing family unit that you're part of and a community that you're plugged into," Janelle continued, painting a favorable picture of the practice. You have a wonderful connection with your spouse, you own everything, am I correct? After that, I'm completely independent. Therefore, I thought that plural marriage was a truly wonderful arrangement. Recent Instagram posts by Janelle appear to indicate that she's been content with her freedom, regardless of Cody's presence in her life. She provided an update on her passion project, the development of Tata Farms, in a recent post. She said, I am beyond excited to finally share our passion project with you. In a lengthy Instagram comment, Tata Farms, we would be delighted to have you join us as we construct Tata Farms from the ground up on this crazy, untidy, and breathtaking journey. She talked about the attraction of Maui in a different Instagram reel. So much to do on this beautiful island of Maui, she captioned the photo. What a wonderful location. Given her prior social media statements, Janelle's admission of desire in another polygamist marriage may not have come as a huge surprise. 
She still maintains a ton of Instagram images featuring Cody, and it doesn't appear that she will be removing any of those recollections anytime soon. Despite the fact that their marriage may not have been perfect, it seems she still has positive memories of the polyamorous union. Please share your opinions about Janelle in the space provided below. Janelle Brown continues her success in business despite Cody and Robin Rogan Brown recently chastised Sister Wives actress Janelle Brown for her spending. Although most people are aware that it is untrue, Janelle demonstrates her strength in the absence of the limitations Robin and Cody Brown placed on her. She is now showing off her financial acumen while also taking a jab at her previous partners, Robin and Cody. Most of her supporters see through her claims that sister wives are wasting their money. And Cody Brown suddenly wants to keep quiet about things related to Coyote past that directly harm Janelle Brown. But Janelle is attempting to alter the things she can. Together with Caleb and Maddie Brownbrush, she has launched a new company. With their flower fields, they hope to make other people happy. A lot of people who wish to support Janelle are saying, yes, even if not everything is ready for customers. However, Janelle Brown gets to poke fun at Cody and Robin Brown through her accomplishment, despite the challenges she faced working with them. She used the occasion to directly promote her company after talking about it on Sister Wives. Fans were aware that she was in the process of making arrangements, but she struck gold when she took advantage of the ideal time to launch a t-shirt campaign for Teta Farms, her new passion project. To put everything together, she is collaborating with Maddie Brown Brush and her husband, Caleb Brush. However, the response was so massive that the system was shut down. Supporters understand that Robin and Cody must feel like a sucker punch because they aren't getting paid for their efforts. Reddit users are ecstatic to see Janelle Brown succeed after severing from Cody and Robin Brown. Already more successful than my sister wife's closet FOMO, commenced a user. Then they included two screenshots from Instagram that demonstrate how well Janelle is receiving feedback for her new venture. Fans quickly showed interest in Janelle Brown and others expressed their opinions on how her financial acumen must be a genuine stab to the kidneys for Cody and Robin Brown. It is wonderful that people are rooting for them and that he will not receive any of the earnings. All I hope for them is the best outcome. It's almost as though starting by selling something simple that a lot of people will wear t-shirts at a reasonable price, $25 is the way to go, say some people in reference to Janelle's allowing others market the farm on her behalf. Then, a different user recalled how strongly Cody felt that my sister wife's closet should not sell shirts. Recall how Cody angrily told Christine not to cheapen the brand with tacky marketing pieces when she tried to sell Emma's Dovesy t-shirts. So they didn't, and now there's no brand. They say he's this marketing whiz. The garments were never worn by them during the show. It is wonderful that people are rooting for them and that he will not receive any of the earnings. All I hope for them is the best outcome. It's almost as though starting by selling something simple that a lot of people will wear t-shirts at a reasonable price, $25, is the way to go, say some people in reference to Janelle's allowing others market the farm on her behalf. Then, a different user recalled how strongly Cody felt that my sister wife's closet should not sell shirts. Recall how Cody angrily told Christine not to cheapen the brand with tacky marketing pieces when she tried to sell MS of UC t-shirts. So they didn't, and now there's no brand. They say he's this marketing whiz. The garments were never worn by them during the show. Janelle Brown doesn't want to brag, but it seems like a jab at Cody and Robin Brown, especially after Robin made fun of Janelle's financial decisions. What I like best about this, Janelle's love of farming and gardening is paying dividends. Mary's dedication to her family's bed and breakfast is paying dividends. The same can be said about Christine's cuisine. Because they are shallow, the person who cannot be named sought to push their passion on the others, but it burnt. They are not truly proud of or joyful about anything. I guess I'm the CEO, and I guess Robin is the CFO, was their simple desire to run the family firm. On Saturday, Cody is sued, and on Sunday, Janelle receives an enormous amount of support, while Robin's pitiful venture fails terribly. I just adore how furious they two must be at the moment. I love karma, even though she's a bastard. Indeed, I'm very glad to see this. I hope their new endeavor is a huge success. And FOMO for Cody is huge. This really is amazing. I sincerely hope Janelle understands how much we care for her. What are your thoughts on Janelle Brown's resounding success with her new venture? Do you believe Robin and Cody Brown felt like they were kicked in the stomach? How is Sister Wives Season 19 going for you? If you are looking for more Sister Wives gossip, come back to TLC Flicks for all your updates. Bye guys.